Greetings, royal family. You read the title. Let's go. Okay, so we're getting closer and closer to the bushes scene. Okay, we almost there. So we got to hang tight. All right, so on this episode of Basketball Wise, the ladies are in Costa Rica. They made it safe, safely. Um, and it appears that the theme throughout this entire episode is segregation because the ladies are split in uh, two separate groups. So the way that Shawnee set it up is that one group of ladies are in one villa, uh, another group of ladies are in another villa. So uh, Evelyn, Shawnee, of course, uh, Kristen, Malaysia, and the Central Park Pigeon, they're in one villa. Jackie, Kristen, I mean, Jackie, Cece, and, and uh, OG, they're in another. So, you know, Evelyn and the gir those girls, they get there first, and they're checking out the place. Atmosphere looks really nice. And Jackie's villa is across like a, like a pool of sorts. So anyway, so there's enough space between the two ladies, okay? This episode was hilarious. Um, so they're all sitting around, Evelyn and, and Kristen and um, uh, Shawnee and Malaysia. They're sitting around, they're talking. And Phoebe has a lot of courage in this scene you know she's 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 all tough and she's talking about Jackie and how she doesn't like her and she better leave her alone and calling her names you know uh Shawnee was laughing of course as usual Phoebe called the other girls roaches you know let's stay away from the roaches problematic you better be careful Phoebe that's gonna come back to bite you and you're behind we saw what happened to Cardi B when she called uh, a girl or a group of girls roaches or something like that. Anyway, I, I, it's not funny, but I laugh because it's coming from Phoebe. Like, Phoebe poses no threat. You understand? So, anyway, so she's just you now making a big stink and sharing her issues and sharing her problems. Kristen, what did she say in this scene? She said something about, she was talking about OG. She said something about OG and she started talking about OG's man. Here we go again. You know what I mean? Like, leave her man alone. Like, her man has nothing to do with you. And that's what almost got you beat up last time. The ladies are meeting up now, okay? So, Shawnee invited Jackie, OG, and Cece over to her villa, where her and Evelyn and them are. And they're going to have dinner. So, they got a chef, they got a bartender, yada, yada. You know, Phoebe, she started drinking earlier because she feels that she's going to need to be drunk to sit across from... Jackie, OG, and Cece, and she can't be bothered. So all the ladies are sitting down. So we expected some drama to kick off. The drama with Cece and Kristen kick off. Like, I thought we dealt with this episodes ago, right? And who is the facilitator of this foolishness? None other than Evelyn, Miss Messy herself. Now, Evelyn is the same one who told OG when the ladies went to San Diego that OG should stay out of family business and she should stay out of it. And when certain things are told to her, stay out of it. But here we have Evelyn, the master of ceremonies, starting up crap. So Cece did get a clean bill of health. Um, she had a biopsy done and she found out that she was cancer free. So thank God for that. And Kristen, they start talking. Evelyn is, like I said, she's starting up this drama and asking um, about situations with Kristen and, and Cece. Then I think somebody mentioned, oh, you know, the Cece. She said, the last time I saw you guys was at Evelyn's skincare uh, launch. And, you know, Evelyn made a snide remark like, oh, yeah, that was a disaster. And, you know, she turns to Kristen and she says, you know, if I was you, I would never try to mend things with her, referring to Cece. Evelyn, stay out of this. This has nothing to do with you. So, of course, Cece gets ticked off. And she gets up and she walks away. Evelyn is telling her, you know, why don't you get on a plane and go home? Excuse me, Evelyn, you didn't invite anyone anywhere. And of course, Shawnee is sitting there not saying anything. Then the Central Park Pigeon starts to get her liquid courage. And she starts going in um, on Jackie. You know, she tells Jackie, like, you tried to act like you were my friend and how dare you come to a cancer event knowing that my grandfather just died in February. You come to a cancer event and act like an animal. Hmm. An animal, huh? Interesting. 
You act like an animal and you think that was cool. You tried to be my friend and you gave me a candle. You know, in the beginning, um, Jackie was trying to be nice and stuff like that and found out that Cece's grandfather had passed away from cancer. So they were at some sort of like spiritual holistic store. So Jackie did a nice thing, bought her a white candle. Phoebe goes into her room. Everybody's wondering where the heck she's going, you know, as she comes out with the candle that Jackie brought her. So you mean to tell me you bought this candle from LA all the way to Costa Rica just to throw it on the table and tell Jackie, I don't want this anymore. I don't want nothing from you. So she starts talking about Jackie's appearance. You know, she says that you're old, you're whack or whatever she says. She called her ears, trying to make fun of, of Jackie's ears, which I thought was so corny. Now the other ladies are sitting around just looking at her. No one is saying anything. You know, Phoebe's being extremely aggressive. Hmm? No one's saying anything. Quiet, just Phoebe going off, embarrassing herself. So Evelyn's covering her face and stuff. And I don't think she's covering her face because Phoebe's reads are hitting. I think it's because she's making a fool of herself and she's drunk. And of course, everybody wants to blame everything on the alcohol. She calls Jackie the B word. Jackie, boss, sitting there, quiet. She's laughing. She's like, oh, whatever. She's like, please, you know, sipping her wine. She's like, I've been called worse by better, you know, mm, you know, whatever. Just cool, calm and collected. And I think that that is the best response to give someone like Phoebe. Phoebe girl, nobody is thinking about you. Jackie ain't thinking about you, Phoebe. So why don't you just pack your little hefty bags and head back to the Big Apple? Big Apple. <laughs> Comment below if you know what... TV show I got that from. Anyway, so so Phoebe, you're making it seem like you have this beef with somebody and someone's attacking you for no reason. You say things behind people's backs, and when they confront you on it, you backpedal. So no one has it, no one's taking you seriously right now. So she was doing the most. So Cece, she's gone. She went into the car. Um Jackie, she gets up, and so does um, uh, OG. So they all leave. So, you know, Kristen is upset. They're in the car trying to talk to her to, to get her to come back. Shawnee, with her phony self, she comes and she tries to figure out what's wrong, what's going on, you know, what's the problem? Fake. But Phoebe is still at this table acting a fool. Like, she's like, you know, she better not play with me because I'll beat her up. Phoebe, girl... Girl, stop. Stop it right now. Stop it immediately. So they carry Phoebe on into the, um, into the house. And the next day, they have uh, an outing to do. So Shawnee, like, you know, planned an outing for them. Again, two separate groups. One group is going riding ATVs. Another group is going, I don't know, whatever the heck they were doing. You, If you saw the episode, tell me what they were doing. Anyway, so... On one ATV is OG and Phoebe. Another ATV is Kristen and Malaysia. So they end up getting to the top of the mountain or what have you. And they're all sitting around uh, talking. So Cece just expresses to Malaysia, like, you know, look, like, Evelyn is mean. Evelyn is aggressive. Evelyn, like, assaults people. I think that's what she said. Evelyn just acts real hood, real ghetto, you know? And they're like, oh no, don't say that about Evelyn. No, you can't say that. She's a good person. What are you talking about? Can we stop? Like, can we just stop with the shenanigans already? Like, it's funny at this point. What do you mean, what is she talking about? Evelyn is aggressive. She throws bottles at people, just like Cece said. She runs across tables. And she said to Malaysia, you know, you're classy, Evelyn is ghetto. So they're all like, oh my God, you know. Malaysia's talking about Jackie, how she doesn't want to be bothered with her, and she basically hates her. And to me, that is like a total misunderstanding. And it can be rectified, but at this point, Jackie is just over it, you know. She stated that there was another issue that they had that caused them to not be cool for a while. I don't, I don't recall. So I guess this was her, Malaysia's second chance, and Jackie is just totally over it. So... You know, after the dinner, just going back after the dinner, the ladies went back to the house and 
you know, they're kind of like making fun of the fact that Evelyn was being real New York and she was talking with her accent or whatever and the other girls were scared. Like, see, you can only back somebody up in a corner but for so long. So, you know, you can, you can treat someone like they're a punk and bully them and stuff, but people get tired. So what's going to happen when... You know, you back someone in the corner and they're sick and tired. They're going to come out swinging. So it seems like, <clears throat> excuse me, it seems like things are changing because Cece has had enough. So, you know, they're back at the um, the house. Cece is talking to Jackie and OG. Cece is just expressing the fact that Kristen is just so mean. Like she's vindictive, she's conniving, and she is constantly making it seem like the separation with, within the family is Cece's fault. And Cece's just like, you know... I love that girl, you know, um, I've shared things with her, I expressed to her the things that have happened to me, you know, the difficulties that she's had being in a relationship uh, with Byron because she was accused of being a homewrecker, you know, after Byron was divorced and it was all in the media and she was crying. So they were, they were listening and they were comforting her and stuff like that. And here's the thing, as far as Cece and the Kristen situation, I could be wrong, but I do believe that, that Kristen is very vindictive. I do think that Kristen's a liar. I think Kristen is underhanded. I get all of that. I'm not saying that Cece isn't, but I think that Cece acts like telling OG the situation with Byron and, and Thomas not being his biological son. I think that that is a result of Cece being fed up and frustrated with the way that Kristen has treated her. Not saying that it's a, like giving her a pass to do that, but like I said, you can back someone in the corner, but for so long until they get tired and you don't know what they're capable of. So I don't, it's not that I feel sorry for Kristen because I think that Kristen can handle her. I mean, Cece, Cece can handle herself, but Kristen, I, I never cared for her. And I mean, I've expressed that throughout this entire season, but everything will come out. I, I wholeheartedly believe so. So, then now the second group with Jackie, uh, who is it? Jackie, I can't even keep track, child. Jackie, Evelyn, Shawnee, I guess. They're, whatever it is that they're doing, and, and Jackie is just talking trash, and um, and Kristen was with them too. Jackie's just talking about, um, <laughs> about Phoebe, saying Phoebe's a crackhead. She pops Molly's, uh, pops pills, all this other stuff. So Evelyn is saying, like, you know, Phoebe has stayed at her house and she's she never seen her do drugs. She does like to puff a little, you know, smoke a little weed, but who doesn't? Anyway, I'm trying to like stretch this because this was too funny. Uh, they meet up for another dinner and this was like a dinner that they had outside or what have you. So, you know, one group arrived first, the other group arrived. So, um, no, what am I missing? Yeah, they were sitting around talking and each group exchanged what the other said about the other. Typical stuff. Oh, you know, Jackie said this. Oh, you know, um, uh, Cece said this. So they meet up now and they're going to dinner and they basically want to talk about what was said. You know, because Jackie was saying that that's the reason why Phoebe is skinny because she, oh my God, she smokes crack. This is so juvenile. So at the dinner, this is toward the end of the episode now. So at the dinner, Evelyn just shoots straight from the hip and was like, you know, I want to address what was said. And Kristen has had enough. You could tell. Kristen has had enough. Kristen was like, let's talk about it. Like, you know, what's up? You know what I mean? And she's like, something about you said something about me. Uh, Cece's like, yeah, I said that you're a B. I said that you're evil. I said that you're ghetto. All of that. So then you see, you know, they flash forward to the next um, episode. So they're basically just like Evelyn and Cece are probably going to go at it. And you can see Evelyn getting up out of her seat and like being aggressive. But I wonder if anyone is going to use that word associated with Evelyn. That's pretty much the rundown. For those of you that did not see it, for those I know some of my viewers, they don't care to watch, but they do enjoy my reviews. And I enjoy you enjoying my reviews. Okay. See, Phoebe, first of all... Bravo, because your um, role as gangsta or thug, you see Phoebe putting on Tim's when they're going, like, girl, what is that supposed to mean? Anyway, you're, you're, 
your attempt at being a thug is so corny. You know, you said that you didn't remember anything that you said when you were drunk and you feel bad and you almost feel kind of bad. Knock it off. You remember what you said, but I guess it kind of, when you weren't getting co-signed by co-signs from the other ladies, you realized you made a fool of yourself. And the fact that Jackie was really quiet and laid back scared the other ladies. They were concerned because Jackie usually pops off. And I guess you had time to think about your actions. So knock it off. You were not that drunk. You knew exactly what you were saying. Um, Malaysia, unfortunately, you might have to pick a side because I see that you're cool with, uh, with Cece and you're also cool with Kristen. And it's no fun being in the middle of two people or being friends with two people that are beefing. Like, ask me how I know. Oh, God. But you, you might have to pick a side or you might just have to leave both of them alone. So I, I don't know, you know, and when the other ladies are around and they're making fun of Cece, you know, Malaysia, you're laughing and stuff like that. You're encouraging that. It just shows that they don't really have much respect for you because they know that you're cool with Cece. doesn't seem like any of these ladies have any respect for, for, for each other. I mean, I just want to see the Bush scene. Like, that's all I care about. So it looks like next week it's going to get hot. Um... Phoebe, I suggest you just quit while you're ahead. Um, you've done enough episodes to collect a nice check, but you better stop before you push the wrong button on the machine known as Jackie Christie, and she really ragdolls you uh, out in Costa Rica. So you might you might want to stop. As far as OG, OG was really quiet. She didn't say anything. You know, she she stayed out of it. Uh, Evelyn, stay out of people's business. You know, like you keep calling OG thirsty because she reached out to your ex again. I said this in my last review. You stated that your ex was abusive, very abusive, you know, and why would you care what he does? Like, like, let's just, let's just stop. Let's just stop. Why would you care who is talking to him? And remember, OG has a man who knows what the you know, interaction was or whatever. Why do you care? You know, why do you care? That's making me look at you a little bit sideways. Another thing, Phoebe, you better stop calling people roaches. You better cut it out because you are the biggest hood rat on this season. Okay? Next to Evelyn. I don't care how pretty your face is. You can be a pretty hood rat. So knock it off. Shawnee, you're an instigator. You, I mean, who paid for the trip? Did you pay to have all of these ladies come just so that you can have separation and throw shade because, you know, you were making fun of CC as well. Like you got in on the petty foolishness, but you always try to stay out of it. You know, this was very entertaining. I have to say Jackie Christie's response at the table was hilarious. You know, Shawnee calling them on FaceTime when they're right across the pool from each other is hilarious. So I don't know. We'll see what happens next week. Um, I tried to squeeze out as much as I could. But I want, if you guys saw it, get down in the comments and let me, let me know what you uh, think about tonight's episode. Like, did you see, do you notice that Cece is starting to stand up for herself a lot more? Like, do you think it was inappropriate or pointless to bring up the whole situation uh, about what OG said about Byron not being Thomas's father? Like, are we, aren't we past that? Like, what's up? Like, if you don't have nothing to say to somebody, just don't say nothing to them. Like, you're on a free trip. Enjoy the atmosphere, right? That's it for me, Royal Family. If I missed anything, put it in the comments. You know I meet you guys down in the comments. We definitely can discuss. But Phoebe, girl, we got to pray for you, sis, because I have a strong feeling that Jackie may try to drag you. And Jackie, don't do it. Honestly, don't, don't even bother because Phoebe's a little girl. You know, she keeps calling you old. So you just act old, girl, while you count your money. Don't, don't pay Phoebe no mind because it's true. You have been called worse by better. Royal family, get down in the comments. I will meet you down there. Thank you for watching. Be sure to thumbs up this video. Check out my other content. Until next time, peace.